How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. This video is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. Ever since I started doing the 10 certain cars videos, this one's been in the back of my mind and I feel that now is a good time to do it. There's forever fast cars being added to Forza Horizon 4, especially recently with the RTR Mustang, the Mosler and the brand new 599XX Ferrari. So what this video basically is, is 10 of the fastest cars in the game. Now this isn't going to be based on top speed cars, so this isn't going to be the 10 fastest cars with the highest top speed, this is going to be based mostly on acceleration. So if you want a car that has a very big top speed but also accelerates insanely quickly, we've got pretty much some of the best 10 cars on this list. The cars on this list are the fastest accelerating cars in the game and also have a very generous top speed as well. So anyway, let's just jump right into the list. The first one is the Mosler MT900S. Put this on the list first because believe it or not, this is the easiest car on this list to get. For just 200 to 300,000 credits, you can get this car off the auction house and obviously it accelerates like a madman. With or without an engine swap, you can fully upgrade this thing to have over a thousand horsepower, up to 1500 with the engine swap. And there was a lot of fuss going around about this car when it first came out because the handling was insane along with the acceleration as well. So it's quite surprising that you can pick one of these models up for just a few hundred thousand credits and it'll beat nearly every other supercar out there. Next up is one that people kind of forget about. It's the Kerngazeg Agera RS. Now the acceleration on this thing isn't as good as most of the cars on this list, but it's still up there with the fastest accelerating in the game for sure. The thing that's mainly put this thing on this list is the top speed. It does have a very high top speed of over 280 miles an hour, I believe. Tie that up with the Xane accelerating. This thing is definitely one of the fastest cars in the game, accelerating and top speed wise. And it's available through the car pass for any car pass owners. So if you don't have the car pass, you can't actually get this car. Next up is the Aventador Forza Edition. The standard Aventador is not on this list, but the Forza Edition is because you can get over 1,800 horsepower with the special Forza Edition version. When the game first came out, I believe this car was in the top three fastest accelerating cars in the game. It's still in the top 10, but it's definitely not in the top three anymore. The Aventador FE is very rare, can only be got on the auction house or through a wheel spin. And even if you do find it on the auction house, the chances are it's going to be 20 million credits so it's very expensive but worth it. Next up is a relatively new one is the RTR Mustang. There's several of these but I'm showcasing the Spec 5 version. This can also have over 1800 horsepower when fully upgraded. Whether it's all wheel drive or rear wheel drive as long as you've got nice sticky tyres and a nice straight line this thing will accelerate like nothing else. It doesn't have a massive top speed. I think it still gets to 260, 270 miles an hour, which isn't the fastest top speed car in the game by miles, but this thing accelerates extremely quickly and can pull six second quarter miles, which definitely deserves a spot on this list. The RTL Mustang will only be available through the auction house now, and it's very hard to find. Chances are if you find one, it may be 20 million. So just like the FE, it's pretty rare and expensive. Next up is one people are obviously expecting to see on this list, the Ferrari 599XX Evolution. Nearly said that wrong then. This car is very, very new to the game, but it is the fastest top speed car in the game by miles. And along with the top speed, obviously it has insane acceleration as well. This is only available through the auction house as well. So if you're lucky, you'll find it. God knows how expensive it will be, but through the auction house is the only way you can get this Evolution now. So not only does this car have very, very good acceleration when fully upgraded, it has a top speed of over 320 miles an hour, which is quite ridiculous. Next up is the McLaren F1 GT. This actually held the number one spot as the fastest accelerating car in the game for quite a while back when the game was first released. You can pick this up for 5.2 million credits off the auto show, probably a bit cheaper on the auction house, and this is still one of the best cars in this list. Not only is it one of the best cars on this list, it's also very easy to get. It's just not in the car pass, it's on the auction house everywhere, it's in the auto show. And obviously the acceleration is insane. Next up on the list is quite a strange one, 
but it's got a reason for being on this list. It's the Porsche 918 Spider. Although this car is extremely fast accelerating compared to everything else, on this list it's probably one of the slowest. The reason I put this car on this list is because it is the fastest 0 to 60 miles an hour car in the game. I did an experiment on this, the Racing Monkey also did an experiment on this. And the Porsche 918 Spider, stock and fully upgraded, seems to be the fastest car in the game from getting from 0 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour, believe it or not. And you can get this for 850,000 credits off the auto show, maybe a bit cheaper off the auction house. Next up is the TVR Speed 5. This thing's a bit awkward to get because it's a barn find, but that could mean it's relatively easy to get. This thing, when the game first released, was also one of the fastest accelerating cars in the game, but everyone's kind of forgotten about it now because there's so many other fast cars in the game, but I mean, it's still up there with the fastest acceleration, so it's got to be on this list. Next up is the Maserati MC12. Now, everyone knows this car. This was one of the hardest cars to get when the game was first released because of how much credits you have to spend to get it. You have to spend, I think, millions of credits on a car to get the perk to unlock the MC12 through it. It was very awkward. Or if you're lucky, nowadays you can get it off the auction house for a few million, but if not, you'll have to get it through the perk yourself. It used to be one of the best cars for the Goliath, I think. I don't think it is anymore, but it used to be. But it's still a very fast accelerating car anyway, which is obviously why it's on this list. Now, I've obviously saved the best until last. The Shelby Monaco King Cobra is the fastest accelerating car in the whole game. It can do 0 to 200 miles an hour in the exact same time that my real life superbike can go 0 to 100 miles an hour. It takes about five seconds, I think. It is ridiculously fast and it's very new to the game and it's in a car pack as well. So if you have the car pass, you'll get this car pack for free straight away and you can fully upgrade it and you'll get the absolute ridiculous acceleration that this thing has. It really is. I didn't think we'd get much faster than some of the cars on this list, but then when the Shelby came out a few weeks ago, it was like, Wow, I'm sure you can see on screen how fast it is. It's really the fastest accelerating car in the game by miles. Fastest drag car as well, I believe. Believe it or not, that is not the fastest. We still have one to go, and that is the PLP 50. Now, if you've ever had the PLP 50, you'll know that this thing accelerates like a madhead. If you pull up next to someone in the PLP 50, they will just, they'll just leave the game, they'll quit, they'll throw their Xbox out the window because they'll know that they are going to lose. I said a minute ago that the Shelby can do 200 miles an hour in 5 seconds. Let's see how fast the peel can go in 5 seconds. Wow. That was obviously a joke, the PLP50 is the slowest car in the game. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, there might be the odd car which fits in this list with being as fast as one of the cars on this list. But I've put up this list from my personal experience and my personal knowledge of just the fastest accelerating cars in the game, not just based on top speed mostly acceleration from 0 to let's say 200 or whatever. Half of these cars slow down quite a bit by 210 miles an hour, but to get up to 210 it's very fast and that classes as acceleration. So, because making this list it made me realize that nearly every fast accelerating car in this game is very hard to get. There's like four or five of these cars that are only available through the auction house and if they're on there, they're very expensive. And then you've got the ones which are stuck in the car pass or the car pack. It's quite interesting that they've, I don't know if they've done it purposely, but nearly every fastest accelerating car in the game is a bit of a pain to get, which is, is that a good thing? So yeah, keep in mind, guys, on May the 7th, in just a few days now, we may see the Expansion 2 reveal, or Expansion 2 details anyway. At the very least, we are getting loads of information on the next Update 9 update anyway. So I'm sure we'll see about that in a few days. Meanwhile, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.